feel hugely confident about it. His track record so far has not been great, being Taoiseach for however long he was Taoiseach for. Um, you know, in which we saw housing crisis get worse. Uh, it has been, a, you know, this idea that the housing crisis only started recently is not true. So you don't think the government has been a success? I, I do not think a gov- the government has been a success. No. It has to be housing. Um, it has to be housing. Uh, we've seen housing prices uh, skyrocket. Um, you know, me being in, based in Ringsend, like nobody living in Ringsend can afford to live in Ringsend. It's because they haven't put enough, you know, energy into building social and affordable housing. They've handed every possible, you know, scrap of land that AMA owned over to private developers. We're looking at the Irish Glass Bottle site, still not a single house is built. We've been waiting 16 years for that. Um, and and even then, when it is built, there's only the guarantee of 10 to 10% social and, and 20% affordable. That's, you know, <laughs> affordability is a big issue um, because what's the point in unaffordable housing? We just don't believe that um, that a, a just system can be ta- can be wedded to capitalism. It's not. I mean, look at where it's got us so far. You know, capitalism is just a series of booms and then busts and a huge amount of exploitation and suffering that comes with that. Um, it's not a fair economic system. And you know, we bring something different. We want to see. We want to see uh, nationalisation of our energy companies. We have carb gas up there in Sligo-ish area and and that's been handed over to, to private interests. We're not seeing a big enough push to move towards renewable energy and all the renewable ed- energy we're seeing is also going to be privately owned, which means that it's tied to the market, which means that we're not... Even if 100% of our energy is made by wind, we're, it's, there's still going to be mass profiteering going on. We're not seeing... Um, corporations pay what they owe us. We never got over the cuts that we went through during uh, the 2008 crash. We're seeing further cuts now. Um, it's it's just, you know, it's, it's a system that's failed completely. And uh, I think, you know, moving away from that system is the answer. To go into a government that's a that's a left government and that it is also has principles. I'll say what you will about the Greens, but like, you know, it, you know, they were a left-ish, you know, uh, party, but they went into with a right-wing party and they've sold out everybody who who thought that they would have actual answers to the climate crisis. The same with Labour, and um, they sold out the working class. There's no, you know, it's all well and good getting into government so long as you can continue to protect the people that you went into government to protect. I'm not going to be doing that, then what is the point?